Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. When using the autopolymerizing acrylic resin materials for constructing the mandibular base plate, the undercuts must be evaluated and relieved. The needed relief is created by the contours to the ridge, as you see here in the lingual and lateral throat form of this patient's uh, master cast, there's an area of undercut. On the opposite side of the mouth, there is a similar area of undercut. These areas must be treated with the relief wax. In the retromolar pad region, there's also an area that runs from the pad down onto the residual ridge and another area is in the labial flange region and along the crest of this ridge. The needed relief is created by using pink base paint wax as opposed to moistened asbestos. To apply wax, the master cast must be thoroughly dry. Molten areas of the pink base plate wax are painted onto this area of the cast and smooth to eliminate these areas of undercut. When the undercuts have been suitably relieved, the master cast should then be prepared with a tinfoil substitute. There are several materials that are available to provide this separating media. The one that we will be using is called Alcoat and should be painted with a very thin application over the entire stone surface of this master model. After you have painted the foil substitute, avoid pooling of the material and excess, excessive applications in the many areas of your cast. A thin layer is what should be applied. After completely painting the tissue surface area of the cast, it can be set aside and allowed to dry for two to three minutes. And while we're waiting for that cast to dry, we can prepare the autopolymerizing acrylic resin. First, we should take the roulette or the rolling mechanism for forming the base plate. You will notice that this is constructed of wood and that at one end are the letters and that spell out the word thick and on the opposite side of the board, the letters that spell out the word thin. For the base plate, we will be using the thick side. We first apply a very thin application of Vaseline to act as a lubricant so that the acrylic resin can be separated from the board. It is then necessary to roll the roller across the board to also place a thin layer on the roller. After this is completed, it can be set aside and we can begin to mix the acrylic. Here we have formatray powder in a mixing device and the liquid in a small container, which the top of which can be cut free with the knife and then add it to the powder in the appropriately predetermined liquid to powder ratio. The powder is now mixed thoroughly with the liquid until a uniform mixture is attained. As you know, the autopolymerizing acrylic resin now must go through its several stages of setting before it is ready to be used in fabricating your base plate. This takes a certain period of time, and in order to uh, allow the acrylic to polymerize, we will set it aside for a moment and prepare again our master cast. When the acrylic has reached its doughy state, it can be gathered up onto the mixing stick, and then it is dipped into water, which will 
remove some of the tackiness uh, to this material and make it easier for you to handle. The acrylic is kneaded and then it is placed on the roller and rolled to an even thickness of approximately two millimeters It is now removed from the roulette and adapted over the master model with light finger pressure. Again, as we work from the posterior part around through the anterior part to the opposing retromolar pad region, we can eliminate the entrapment of air. The excess material can be carefully cut from the lingual with the sharp knife of the scalpel. And then one should carefully readapt the acrylic base plate material. It is then set aside and allowed to complete its polymerization, which normally takes a period of about three to five minutes. Here we have a base plate that has polymerized and we can remove it from the master cast and check the tissue surface of the base plate and as well as the peripheral overextensions. You will see that the base plate is free of voids and that we have developed the peripheral roll. And you can also see the amount of overextension where the acrylic resin has carried, been carried out onto the landing area and the tongue space of the master model. It is at this point that we should trim the base plate to the appropriate peripheral length using the arbor band mounted uh, on the dental lathe. The peripheries of the base plate are rounded back to the registration of the tissue area of the master cast. This is done quite nicely with the arbor band. These peripheries should be short of the peripheral registrations in the master model, and they should be smooth and well-rounded. Here we have removed the overextension on the buckle, and of course would continue this around, clearing the lingual and the lateral throat form area. Here we have a finished base plate that we have adjusted the peripheries on to be short of the peripheral registration of the master model and as indicated previously they are rounded uh, and smooth and this is what your finished base plate should look like in preparation for the next step which is the stabilization of the acrylic resin mandibular base plate. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.